that is humbling. That is extremely humbling. Everybody, not just artists, but everybody's caught up in the likes and the numbers. And I would advise people to, to not let someone else tell you who you're going to be and what you're going to do in your life. You would never make it champion. The greatest moment uh, of my career, I was asked to surprise an eight-year-old girl at her birthday party. Uh, and little to my knowledge, um, her, her entire party was themed after my first album uh, that I released December 8th, 2018. And uh, so my album's called Element and her entire party, it was not, it was not themed after Frozen, Paw Patrol, whatever eight-year-olds are into, I don't know. But uh, it was all dedicated around Element. And I, my entire album was about living in your element um you can be man or woman boy or girl but it was specifically catered to young girls um so that that put my entire reason for even doing music into perspective champion i recorded that on my iphone in my room playing piano it was just a voice memo because i couldn't afford the studio time and through that recording, I feel like I've, I've touched people the deepest. Um, and even myself, my parents, I've watched my parents cry out that song. Like, you know, it has a, a, a really deep meaning and um, I did it with no money. So it's like some people, well, a lot of people think you need all this production, all this stuff to really just like be effective. And I think that's what I'm mostly proud of is that I've been effective without doing too much. Um, hmm. Something that I've learned by doing shows in and outside of Louisville, um, really just traveling and uh, talking to industry people, I've learned that Okay, so let me give a little, I guess, context. I sat down with the vice president of a major label. I will not say the name of the label or the person until, probably until I actually make it to a bigger place. And then I'll probably do that. So remember this recording, I'm gonna do it with Max when I get famous. Okay, so sat down with the vice president of a major label and uh, it was the worst meeting of my life. He didn't even hear my music. Um, it was a overly sexualized conversation that was held in front of multiple people. And it made me extremely uncomfortable and extremely embarrassed um, because I didn't speak up for myself. And I kind of just, I just kind of like stood there and took what he was saying and I kind of like I don't know, like, I, I don't wanna go too much into detail, but what I learned from that conversation is a few things. One, everybody's just normal people. Like, like people who have a lot of money, people in positions of power, like they have those things, but at the end of it, like we're all just people. So it's not like, like sitting there with that person, uh, it just made like looking into that person's eyes and just like understanding like I'm talking to a regular person who who is just overtaken by their success and what they have. Um, that's one thing I realized is to not glorify people in positions of power because at the end of it, like we're, we're all the same. Two, uh, never letting someone tell you about yourself it's fine to seek advice it's fine to you know seek criticism or be open to criticism um that's fine but i i would advise people to to not let someone else tell you who you're gonna be 
and what you're going to do in your life. Because um, God has the final say. That's what I believe. Uh, three, I learned that you need to determine what success is to you based upon you and what's in your heart, not based upon other people's versions of success and their stories. Uh, success could just be making it through the day without losing your mind. You know what I mean? Success is strictly determined by what you feel. So those are a few of the things that I've learned. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm a stronger person because of that conversation. Uh, I'm a better artist because of that conversation. I think that conversation had to happen in order for me to feel so like, I'm at, like, like that conversation actually freed me in a way because I was held captive by the thought of a major person uh, being able to elevate my career. So now I'm free because I'm free mentally and spiritually because I know that however it's gonna happen for me, like I don't need a label person. I don't need, I don't really need anyone. It's who, it was, it's my fans, whoever supports me, uh, family, friends, whatever, like those are the people that matter. 